Oh, so that's gonna be sexy. Like a shower cap, imagine. Hey guys, welcome to the channel with Ricardo and Coral, but obviously Ricardo's not here, it's just Coral, because I'm gonna be showing you my hospital bag. What's in my hospital bag, what I'm gonna bring with me, and I think it's not a very good hospital bag, personally, but who knows what a good hospital bag is until you've actually gone to hospital, given birth, and use the things that you put in your bag. So I did repack this bag today. So a couple of weeks ago, we went to the Cotswolds, and I kind of emergency packed to this bag just in case anything was to happen so I just threw a load of stuff in there and I repacked it after that because I knew that what I'd packed in there wasn't good enough so I repacked it yesterday and then I watched Alessandra and Federica's video Lost in Family and she actually did a hospital bag video and my bag compared to hers is terrible like it's awful. I I still have just thrown things in here. I actually have them, some things that I need to take to the laundrette to get dried because otherwise I'm going to be taking wet things and I'm just going to be in my underwear because there's no trousers in here. So I need to do that. I need to sort everything out. But I can show you what is in here. Things that I need to buy as well to put in here. So I have bought some things that I need to put in. Let me just show you what there is. Okay, so first up, if I just jump into... That is what our maternity book looks like. This is like kind of our notes. So we have to bring this so that the person, the midwife who's actually going to be there when we're giving birth can read all of our notes. Um, and on there it's got the labour line. So that's the number that we call when we're going into labour. Um, so we have a chat with them and I can't remember what they do. I think they just ask like how often your contractions are and yeah, I, I can't remember. I'll find out. The things I've packed. I've packed my Polaroid camera because I thought if we forget our other camera which we won't because we'll bring our phones I'll have my Polaroid camera I never get to use my Polaroid camera and I have space for it in my bag so I thought it'd be really nice to get a picture of Polaroid camera and I got film in case that film runs out because we're going crazy with taking pictures it'd just be really nice to get a little cute little picture of our little baby when it's born in this Polaroid camera the annoying thing about this is I'm going to have to repack my bag again after how annoying. Maternity pads. I did buy some pads. Lovely, I know. But I didn't know if they were the right ones. And But they were only 89p from Lidl. So I bought them anyway. Um, and then I went to Asda today. So that was yesterday. I went to Asda today. And they had the maternity pads. Actual maternity pads. And they seem like they're definitely different to the other ones that I bought. The other ones are shorter. They were very thick though, the other ones. Yeah, for your information. But these ones are a lot longer. I'm going to try to get into them so we see what size they are. Oh yes, they are very thick. Oh yes. Oh, so that's going to be sexy. Let's put those away. Let's pretend we didn't see those. Let's pretend we never see them. So I got those, but also I have heard that the lady like nappies are good. So I got the lady nappies too, because I think they might be more comfortable. Yes, lady nappies. Oh, I haven't looked at these yet. Oh yes, they are going to be attractive. <laughs> I'm going to look so sexy in my underwear. <laughs> Dear, no. Yes, I pack everything in Ikea bags because I like things to be in sections and compartments where I can get to them. With the, with the, um, the big pads, the big maternity pads, you need pants obviously. So I do have, I bought some new pants because they have said that like get pants that you don't mind like throwing away. Um, and then I found these maternity knickers which you can throw away in the bin. So, oh, let's see what it looks like shall we? It's in a little like tube and they're probably going to feel horrible aren't they? Ooh, yes, that's what we like. Like a shower cap, imagine. 50p, absolute bargain. 50p for how many pants? Oh, I didn't realise there was a size. Oh, good job I got my size. Five. Oh, there's only five? Oh, I should have got more. <laughs> I should have looked. I just threw them in and saw pants and was like, yeah, I need those. Oh, I'll have to get more. I guess when I'm at the hospital, I'm only going to need that many and then Ricardo can do a little run to get some throwaway pants. Next up, we have got a flannel to clean my face when I'm feeling sweaty and disgusting. They do have showers there, so I can have a shower. And I also did bring a towel. I'm not going to take the towel out. It's can't bother. You all know what towel looks like. So I brought a towel because I'm going to have a water bath, possibly. To be honest, if I don't have one, I'm not going to like for a tantrum or anything because I've never given birth before so I don't really know what it's going to be like. Will a bath really help me? I don't know. 
So we're just gonna see. If it's free, I'm gonna take a little swim in the pool. So I got this really tatty top. It's so tatty, I mean, I say it's tatty, it's because it's got holes in it. I don't even know how those holes got there. It's like it's been in the dryer and the dryer ate it. This is gonna be my giving birth top, I think. Yes, I'm just gonna wear this. So you plan all these things, but pro are they gonna happen? Probably not. Um, and then I just got this other top. It's just another top for something else. Maybe I might feel like I wanna wear another top um, because my other one's got a bit skanky. Bit sweaty maybe so I've got an option they said to wear comfy clothes when you come out so in England we don't actually stay there for that long if you're not needed to um, so you could you might not even be there for the night depends when you give birth when you've been checked I think they have like this checklist somebody comes around to check that you're okay if you're all good you go home that very day so like if I was to give birth at like 6 a.m. I could be home by 6 p.m. I might not even stay the night and um, it all just depends on how the birth went how the baby is how the checks are and everything so I might not need pajamas um, but this is my going home outfit um, so it's like a long baggy shirt dress because they say to wear loose fitting clothing for when you go home so this is extremely loose and do you see what I mean by I don't have any trousers I don't have trousers so I'll literally just be going home in this then I've got comfy bras so I've got nursing bra one nursing bra Two. They are from Amazon actually. I just bought them from Amazon and a sports bra. So the sports bra I think I'm gonna wear during labour because when you go in like the birthing pool, obviously I'm gonna want to wear like a top, don't have to, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna wear comfy sports bra. I also am gonna get my bikini out because my bikinis are currently packed away in my summer suitcase. Um so I need to get those out. I also packed socks in case my feet get cold and then in here I've got pants and baby muslins they should be in the baby one but because my pants are in here I'm putting them in my personal bag also on Amazon actually I've bought a nursing nighty so I'll put a little picture in here so you can see it it's hot pink I got that one because I did buy something from Asda and I don't like it I look ugly I look funny so I'm gonna take that back because that was 16 pounds and it's not even a nursing one it's just because it had buttons on it so I've got an actual nursing one that's gonna come tomorrow in my side pocket here what do I have I have got LucasAid because they say that you need energy. So I've got this giant LucasAid, which we bought a few weeks ago. It's the only food I've got. So me and Ricardo are gonna have to survive on mini cheddars. Let's hope we're not there that long. No, I just need to remember that I should pack some more food. Otherwise, we might be really hungry. What I'm hoping is that we'll have bread at the time and we can make Nutella sandwiches to take with us. Maybe some other things. I just need to get some more food, really. So they've only got vending machines there. And imagine us like eating from the vending machine all the time, especially if we don't have any coins. That is not going to work. Next is in this side over here. This is toiletry stuff. I've got deodorant. So I smell nice and fresh. I've got soap. I don't know if you're meant to bring soap. I feel like in the NHS like hospital bag video that I watched, they said soap is a yes. Not a must, but it's a yes. I've got toothbrush, toothpaste. I've got moisturiser because I get really dry hands. My hands get so dry. And if I don't have any moisturiser, I think I'm literally going to rip my skin off. Oh no, I just, I can't touch anything. Like, even right now my hands are really dry and touching this is quite horrible. So I get really, really dry hands. And then I've got two hair bubbles. I think that is everything. There's obviously the hospital bag for the baby. I did have all the baby stuff in there and then I was like oh I haven't packed myself enough stuff and the baby stuff is really small compared to mine and I'm not going to have enough space if I need to pack more of my stuff. So I created a new bag for the baby. Here's the baby bag. I'm not going to get out and show you. I think you can probably imagine what's in there. It's all the baby basic stuff that you need like the little clothes, little outfits, hats and everything um, but we will show you that when we bring him out of the hospital in his little taking home hospital outfit. So that's gonna be cute. That is everything in my hospital bag. Let me know if you have any other suggestions or things that I may have missed. Flip flops, I need to put flip flops in there or slippers. So yeah, let me know if there's anything that I've forgotten, anything that you think I should put in here that I haven't, any good snacks. Good snack ideas actually, because mini cheddars, I mean, that's not gonna keep us going. And, but I can't put fruit in there because that's just gonna go mouldy. So if I have like, I've got bananas in the kitchen, so if I give birth anytime soon, I can just grab the bananas and apples I have. Don't forget to subscribe. Fingers crossed this baby comes soon and we will see you soon. Bye. This is my current belly, just so you can see it. Please ignore the light that's here. This is the only way we can get good lighting. And this small, this is the nursery. So this is my big belly. Bam. Bam. Yeah. So, a neat, apparently it's a neat belly.